We're ready to rock and roll. Ten passenger van, we're going to town. Morning everybody, Jason Bo. I'm we'll gonna get PJ out here in just a little bit. Hollis Farms. Boy, we got a ton of rain last night. It's done got cold. I'm gonna put me another jacket on. Wet, boy, just wet. Thinking to see what we can get into today. We got to do something. Just nasty. All right, just got put my tag on the van. I didn't do that the other day. Thing had a sticker on the fuel cap. I got most of it off. I got to get that sticky stuff off now. I didn't like that. Had a tag on the on the front. Took it off. Checked the oil and kind of looked over it a while ago just to make sure everything. I need to get me a spare key made for it. I don't like not having a spare key. All right, been sitting here a little bit. I hope she'll crank. Money. I had to, this thing came and was just, I'm on all but out of gas. So I took some out of a can and uh, poured it in there to make sure we can get to the store. We're ready to rock and roll. 10 passenger van we're going to town I have to take this stuff out and i ain't got it done yet it don't don't matter i'm gonna get, i'll get it when i get back probably i really think we're gonna like this y'all once we get it I, I got a long way to go to get it to where i'm getting it but i got this little deal for christmas goes in the cup holder your phone is whatever fit down in there this thing's kind of lacking on usb ports for all the charging that i have to do this one right here drop it in the in the cup holder it's got three extra so you turn one into three and i got another little deal sticking here and holds about four because i'm always charging camera batteries and everything else especially when we're rolling during hunting season i gotta get them stickers off too i ain't i don't want to leave all that in here but anyway let's see how she's gonna ride all right i forgot this thing had a backup alarm on it i'm pretty sure that's what this contraption right here is before i go anywhere i'm fixing to unhook that unit don't want to listen to that. All right, got the back off alarm. Run, run hook. Got to get used to where the pedals are. I'm bad about the brakes kind of, kind of high up to you and gas pedal over. I'm bad about hitting that gas pedal when I'm trying to hit the brake. All right, here we go. First ride in the van. Plenty peppy enough, I didn't even get in. It's got a little bitty gas pedal and a normal brake pedal and you, you, your feet kind of tight down there where you're sitting. But I'm gonna tell you with my back, it's one reason I hadn't been driving the Frontier. There's nothing wrong with it, just the way the seat sits. I'm better off the uh the lexus kind of starts hurting me because it kind of squeezes your leg the way that seat's made be nice when you ain't hurt but uh like your seat right here or even in the dodge you're kind of sitting up like you're sitting in a chair i like it this right here is comfortable <laughs> i tell you and i just got on the highway i'm running 55. it uh pretty smooth i like the mirrors So I had to throw me a HF hat on the dash. Tell you, it's kind of like driving a big truck in a way. You know, you got your hood right there. That's short. Big windshield. Stays like this. So far, so good. I ain't gonna speed yet because I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't used to the handle yet. But tell you what, this ain't bad. Ain't bad, 56 miles to empty. We got 71,686.7 miles on the vehicle. 60 miles an hour. I gotta get used to the cruise. Oh, it's got overdrive on and off right there. It's got a cruise right there. I think the radio wasn't working for me the other day. 
Yeah. It may be me, but it looks like the radio ain't ain't uh, ain't working. But you know, I don't run the radio half time anyway. I do like a radio, but I don't run one just a whole lot. Pretty good view. I thought the radio worked when I first got it. Probably the biggest issue, one of the biggest issues, and I've noticed a little bit. I noticed a lot when I drive ride with Cece in her infinity and then in the little Lexus, you got all that room behind you compared to a truck. So the heating and cooling situation's a little different. I bet that, of course, this got rear heat and all. I'm just gonna have to learn to, to get all that right to where you kind of pretty comfy up here. But man, got a big lot of dash space and that dash drops down. Boy, we can drop all kind of stuff down in there. But like up here in the doghouse part, it's got three cup holders. Oh, uh, lots of little pockets around here and there. Glove box is probably the smallest thing on it, but got a traction control on and off. Shoot, man, this ain't nothing but Cadillac. Cat toe lack. Cat. I like the steering wheel sitting up there pretty straight. I believe she's been taken care of. We might, we gotta get on the bypass here in a few minutes, so, uh, but I've got to get some gas. Temperature's running good, right up in the middle, a little below middle. Oil pressure's above half. Charging. Shoot. All right, I'm running 50. I'm be curious, so it's got a, a gas mileage check deal on here too. I found that while ago, so. Oh, uh, I'm running about 1,600, 1600 RPMs at 60. So it's gonna be about like any other vehicle, get it to best under 2,000. Well, it sits up here and drives good. Tell you what. Pretty good bridge there. My foot just slipped off the gas pedal. That's gonna take a little bit to get used to. Got my crispy boots on this morning. Gotta get some floor mats. So if we're gonna start decking her out a little bit of time. Oh, I got one more thing I need to do to it today. So don't let me forget about that. I ain't checked, but this thing is just about empty. I bet this joker got a big old tank on it, don't it? I kinda hope it does. High as this mess done got now, ain't no telling what it's gonna cost to fill this thing up. Yeah, got to fill her up though, can't be walking. Look out buzzers, got a bunch of buzzers in the road. $102 to fill this unit up. Said uh, 25 gallons and you know, I don't know, it must have a 26, 27 gallon tank on it. That is ridiculous. Gas was $3.99 and I'm sure it's more than that other places. This is, Diesel says 524. That's so stupid. Stupid. We got to get us a new, new leadership up there. This is getting rough here. Rough. But anyway, finna jump on the bypass. Let's see how she rolls on the bypass. All right, here we go. Getting on the own ramp. Let's see how she handles it. 70. Oh, thing drives pretty good sitting up here. Kind of curious at how the gas mileage is going to be. We'll, we'll see where that's at here in a minute. I'm sure it ain't going to be just too great. But it might be. A little 5.4 in here. Right, that's 65 right there. 70 is gone. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, 70 has got us. 2,000 RPMs, that's about normal. That ain't bad, sitting up there clicking right along in the E350. E-Series Kano Ford van. Cruising right along. It's got a thing over here where we can check. Let's see, we're just curious, see where it's going. Clear that thing. Had 5.7 on the average. Oh, 
for the gas mileage. I've cleared it, it's been sitting running. So right there it says 16 .1, 50. it's coming down though. It ain't gonna stay up there. Coming down fast too. Man, this done got down there. 14 .1, 14. 13.9 four it's gonna be about 14 yeah we'll run it a while and see what it does all we can do is fill it up to uh come to town to sports specialty they do a lot of low they do all our hats logoed a lot of schools and this and that and we have been having a little problem getting our hats and stuff like everything and i had these hats that we was going to do something for Hollis Farms. Our team's called the Outlaws, so I got us some hats made for the team. Them look pretty good, don't they? All right, so run to town, got some hats picked up, had run by the DG. Been just kind of, you know, your normal day-to-day -day running around, stop, get out, get back in, whatever. And the van, I've been running, you know, around 55 or 60. It's showing 16.4 miles a gallon. I tell you right now, I am very pleased. I know probably you get her loaded down and get out on the highway like it looked like a while ago running 70, 70, 75. It's gonna drop, they all do. But I'm gonna tell you what, you sit, I like sitting up. I don't like nothing low. And this thing's just normal. It's two wheel drive, sitting up looking good. I like it. I like you can see right there in front of you. Handles good, comfortable. I'm about to get used to I like how this seat, captain chair, whatever you call it, sits. It, it, it sits good. It's pretty comfortable. Got a little armrest, lean it back and forth. It, uh, very pleased with the seat. Kind of wish there was leather, but these cloths, they get nasty, but they are more comfortable to me. Got a little place you can prop your foot over here on the on the left side. Kind of got to get used to the brake because the gas is kind of down there, and you kind of got to pick your foot up and get on the brake. But just like anything else, just different. Got to get used to it. But I'm gonna tell you what is running around in town. I'm I'm happy. I drove big trucks pretty much all my life, the Lexus and the little Toyotas and stuff. I've had them off and on, but I've usually always especially since i got out of school drove something big so i'm happy you can see right out that back glass i don't know how long that'll last we'll have, to have stuff packed to the roof but the mirrors is good you can see back there good i'm happy i like the van i think this is gonna be cool i think it's gonna work just fine i meant to tell y'all i forgot the radio works it's just the display screen don't show you what channel you're on. I've got, I got to messing with it a while ago and turned it up. And it came, I remember I did that one time and I forgot. So we'll have to remember that if we let it sit a while. We got radio. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. I didn't carry Bo with me because I knew I was just going to be getting in and out. Trying to get used to the van. You want a snack? Mm hmm. Got a little food left from this morning. You ate really good this morning, didn't you? Yes, sir. Just a little drink of water. I'll let you eat, and I'm ready to eat something. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse on the new word good. Maybe this is, what, second day on that? Uh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. Ooh, this is a long one, ain't it? All right, y'all ready? Genesis chapter 2. Verse 9, the word is good. Out of the ground the Lord God caused to grow every tree that is pleasing to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That's a good verse right there. All right, y'all, I just had PJ out for a while running around acting crazy and I forgot to get the camera out been getting some other stuff gathered up fooling around but anyway pretty good day today i had to do a bunch of running around in town got the new ball cap some things look good we're gonna look right this time instead of 
like a bunch of old scrubs with no matching hats. But anyway, that don't matter. Don't bother me. Don't bother the kids. Don't seem like. But let's see. Oh, boy, I like the fan. That thing's going to be right. We got a super big project coming for the van, but it's going to be... This is probably going to be a six to ten month project. Oh, uh, mostly waiting on some parts and stuff. But after that, it's going to take a little while to get done. But anyway, super excited about that. But really, really excited now about after driving it. And I like it. We're going to be good. But anyway, I'm about to call it a day today. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.